Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll be doing the full review for this Nothing Phone 2A. And I've been actually testing this uh, smartphone for the last 12 or days. And in this video, I'll give you my uh, complete overview. What do I feel about it? I've made a lot of notes, so we'll go all over it. Before uh, everything, I just wanted to give you my quick uh, summary. Uh, what do I feel about this uh, smartphone? Then we'll dwell into all the details. And before I uh, tell you my quick summary, uh, regarding the pricing, uh, I also do not know all the details. I'm shooting this video uh, just a couple of hours before the launch. I'll also know all the details uh, later on. But what I know is that this smartphone phone will start at about 24,000 rupees. I don't know if this is inclusive of all, all, all the offers or not, but yeah, this is going to be starting at 24,000 rupees. And based on that, my uh, all the thoughts and opinions are based on that sort of pricing. The starting price is about 24,000. This Nothing Phone 2A is, is for the price an excellent smartphone. It offers a clean UI experience similar to the Pixel UI and is fast and fluid and has that 120 hertz uh, what you say uh, motion which is very very fluid and it comes with the AMOLED screen. Uh, this comes as a breath of fresh air in this segment for users looking for a phone with uh, essential features and clean user experience with great battery life and a very good camera which has become a rarity in this segment. So that was my quick uh, uh, summary guys and before I jump into this here are all the specs of this uh, device and I'll also have all the specs over here so that you have a better idea. This is the box itself and inside this box you will also get this one. This is actually the box where the phone will be there. So nothing much I would say fun intended nothing much phone was here and apart from that you get this uh, fancy uh, sim ejector tool which is sort of transparent and also this USB type C cable there is no charger bundled in the box and I feel that like this is a missed uh, opportunity because at this price point this segment most of the other vendors are including a charger so you don't get any charger nor uh, what do you say case or anything in the box so this is the device itself and it looks I would say very similar to other uh, nothing phones uh, this is also a relatively big size phone at 6.7 inch screen and uh, I would say of uh, the back this is interesting again this also has that transparent kind of a back if you want more of the transparent thing i would suggest that you go with the black uh, sorry white color variant because that one has a lot more clear and uh, the thing to note is that this back is actually not glass now this is a polycarbonate plastic kind of a thing uh, so again it attracts fingerprints like crazy uh, I would say uh, but yeah this is what it is and the good thing was that I was very very skeptical about this back uh, what do you say because it's that polycarbonate kind of a thing and I thought it will have too many scratches but I used this phone as I told you for all about 12 days and in my pocket with my keychain and all those things and then also I did not get a lot of scratches but if you notice closely there is one nick over here the phone actually fell on the ground and yes it did get a nick so it resists the scratches quite a bit but again if i were you i would go with some sort of a case or a transparent sheet or something because this is sort of a fingerprint magnet and in the long runs you can definitely get the next but definitely a lot better in terms of scratch protection compared to many other smartphones that come with that uh, completely black plastic pack so that's what it is also this has that glyph lighting so if you flip and all those things you get those glyph lighting i'm not a big fan of that i'll talk about that but yeah that is there so this is the phone itself and uh, another thing to note is that the this one the outer chases is also actually made of polycarbonate that is plastic this is not metallic but the internal frame uh, is actually aluminium uh, the good thing is that the network reception is actually very good on this uh, smartphone and in terms of physical aspects we do have a noise cancellation microphone over here we also have one more over here at the back uh, here is the power on off button bottom we have the speaker again this also has stereo speakers in fact the speaker speakers were actually pretty good uh, you have a micro uh, uh, what do you say nano sim but no what do you say micro sd card or anything it comes in two uh, variants guys 8 gigabytes of ram with 128 gigabytes of storage and 256 and the 12 gigabyte ram variant which i have the review in it is that 12 gigabyte that will have 256 gigabytes of storage but sadly this is not the ufs 3.1 storage uh, it's okay 
uh, affect me or whatever it's the phone is actually pretty fluid that is something that i liked uh, they made the phone actually pretty fluid in operation so that is a good thing but one thing i did not like is that i don't know if it's just my review unit or whatever because i don't have multiple units to test it out i noticed that the volume button has slight wobble towards it's a very slight wobble that i'm having so this is something that i noticed immediately on this one now you got to check it with other reviewers or if this is a common thing but yeah at least on my unit this is slightly having that wobble okay another thing is that again good thing is that this is having amulet screen uh, it's a 6.7 inch screen and again in terms of color accuracy and all this thing uh, the screen is very good um, uh, that way i liked it even for watching videos and stuff it's a good experience so it's not over saturated or dull or something they have got it right but again as the costing of this phone this is sort of that mid-range thing i would say indoors the screen is actually adequately bright as you can see no issues but outdoors in direct sun i feel that even at maximum brightness it's not that bright don't get me wrong it's not a total deal breaker but something you have to little bit squint uh, they say the peak brightness is about 1300 these are just numbers uh, sustained is about 700 nits so that's what it is in terms of uh, what do you say in hand feel i like the phone and two reasons is that though this is a relatively big phone that 6.7 inch screen but again it does not feel that much heavy and the reason for that is simple because the back is not glass glass is a lot more heavier and also that chases is not metallic that's why in terms of that in hand feel uh, it's a good experience that you're getting with this phone it's not that heavy i would say it weighs just 190 grams that way i would say the weight balance of the phone has been done well so even for long calls and stuff like that i did not have a problem moving to the uh, next thing that i really liked on this one is the earpiece on this one is actually very very good uh, the and the cellular reception and in fact still my primary sim that is airtel is on this one uh, is actually really good the network reception was good the call clarity was excellent on this one so the earpiece very good no issues of proximity sensor or anything on them in fact uh, it feels like uh, the call quality that you get with premium smartphone so that way i would say they have done a good job um, next thing is again regarding the processor uh, i won't talk too much this is having a mid-range processor that's the mediatek diamond city 7200 they call it the pro uh, so it's very similar to the regular diamond city 7200 but slightly overclocked i would say and i would say in terms of the ui it handles the UI very well. I have forced it to actually 120 hertz and I did all my testing on 120 hertz, not the regular 60 hertz. And in fact, if you notice in the uh, UI and the fluidity, it is actually very good. In fact, I like the fact that the UI resembles very, very close to a Pixel uh, smartphone. There are some additions, I would say, but those are actually meaningful additions done on this smartphone. For example, uh, if you notice, uh, they have added quite a few widgets. These are some widgets that nothing has added. This shows the screen on time and stuff like this is the weather widget and all this. So they have added actually some new, uh, actually nice widgets. And again, no, notice the fluidity. Uh, it actually handles it very well. It's very, very fluid in the UI. So that way, I have, I think they have done the optimizations very, very well. Rarely, rarely I have noticed that um, lagginess or anything on this uh, smartphone. Unless some background activity was going on something, I did not notice any lag. So that way I would say, the phone uh, is also very, very smooth in the UI very fluid gives you that pixel vibe again and again again if we notice uh, the color theme is actually very very different on this one again you can choose it while setting it up i use this black and white uh, what is nothing theme and they try to make all the icons dark color but again this indirectly fails as you can see uh, it does not uh, do it for every app only some of the popular apps it makes it like this so this is what it looks with some of the other apps as you can see so again just resort to the default uh, regular android theme this in a way it's a good thing but again as you can see many of the third party apps it simply can't uh, do that uh, grayscale icon so that's what it is. Moving to one thing that I really liked it. Yes, this does have a stereo speakers. In fact, the stereo speakers quality was much better than I expected. Let me quickly just fire up YouTube. As you can see, we are at about 75% volume level. And in fact, the stereo separation is good and even the volume level is good. Generally, what I've noticed with many of these mid-range smartphones is that 80% of the volume will come from here. Only a little bit of you here. It's actually very well balanced. Let me increase the volume to max. This is the maximum volume. Actually, you get that stereo effect. 
So that way I would say, in terms of speakers, the stereo speakers, they actually perform much better than what I expected. Uh, as I've told you, the stereo balance and you get that really effect, stereo effect on this one. Also, as I've told you, the UI is good. RAM management also, I did not have any issues. Uh, this is the 12 gigabyte uh, RAM variant of uh, this smartphone. And again, if you look at it, even internal, the UI feels very close to stock Android uh, experience, uh, I would say. So that way, it's actually really, really nice. I also like the fact that uh, this smartphone comes out of the box with Android 14. So you're getting the latest version of Android, which is based on the, they call this nothing UI 2.5. Uh, so, and uh, they're promising next three years of Android upgrades and four years of security update. So considering the price point and the clean experience, it's very good. Again, big uh, thing for me is that this device did not come with the actually bloatware. Yes, there was one of the nothing apps, for example, this nothing app, uh, nothing X app was pre-installed and some extra widgets but apart from that I would say this is one of the cleanest Android experience that you can get at this price point yes even Motorola started adding some extra apps but here nothing has kept it clean and that costs guys so that way I would say very very clean Android experience that you are getting on this one very close to uh, what do you say uh, uh, pixel in fact I would say uh, uh, I would call this the mini pixel. Uh, that's the feeling that the device gave, uh, apart from the haptic feedback. Haptic feedback is okay, but haptic feedback is very, very average, I would say. Uh, that way, pixels, most of the pixels, excellent haptic feedback. Another thing that I noticed is that the Wi-Fi reception was also very, very good uh, on uh, the smartphone. There is one area in this, uh, uh, what do you say, place where the Wi-Fi reception is pretty average, but this phone was getting good reception even in that area. So that way I would say very good. Again, I did not have any issues with Bluetooth headsets and stuff like that. Uh, the camera on this one, if you look at it from the back, again, as I don't like that, it becomes a fingerprint magnet, man. As I've told you, this, you have to constantly wipe it. Maybe on the white color, it's not visible a lot, but yeah, at least on this black one. Okay, moving to the camera. Um, if you just have these two cameras on the back, and I like that they're not doing the gimmicks of three or four cameras, and both the cameras are very, very functional. The main camera is a 50 megapixel uh, with OIS, F aperture is 1.88, and the second one is actually ultra wide. And here are some of the camera samples that I've taken with this smartphone. In fact, uh, I would say before I you the samples in fact the processing i think so they are doing something like pixel for example if i'll just show you i'll just let's just take a snapshot of this one if i take it and if you press the preview as you can see it takes a little bit of time and does the processing just like the pixel smartphones and the pictures that i got from this smartphone actually surprised me and here are the samples First, some outdoor shots. And as you can see in outdoor condition, it does a good job. This is the regular shot. And actually the macros come out good. And as you can see, the outdoor shots are very, very natural. This is again a regular shot, as you can see. And this was the ultra wide. One more example. This was the regular shot. And this was the ultra wide. As you can see in outdoor conditions, the pictures actually come out very good. These pics were shot in artificial lighting conditions and again as you can see even in artificial lighting conditions it produced some very good results. These pictures were taken when I just went to a mall and here also as you can see the pictures come out very good. Natural background blur is very easy and these were taken in the portrait bokeh mode. Now moving to low light conditions here also it actually did very well as you can see. In fact this was taken at 9.30 at night and it made the picture look a lot brighter than it what it was. These are the selfies taken with the 32 megapixel uh, camera. This was in the portrait mode and I feel selfies can be improved a little bit the skin tones with further tuning in my frank opinion. Recording this video with the Nothing Phone 2A and this is with the front facing camera and the maximum video recording with the front facing camera is sadly restricted only 1080p. Again, I think so that's not a problem. And this is around the evening time frame about uh, yeah, it's almost six o'clock, so sun is going to set. It's, so that twilight thing is there, uh, and uh, this is the audio. So, what do you guys uh, feel about the front-facing video recording with the Nothing Phone Two uh, A? Uh, coming to the glyph interface, uh, yes, this does have that glyph interface, and if you just I'm just using this flip to clip that goes to do not disturb these light up and stuff like that. Even in ringtones, you can do that. But again, I don't 
think so. Still, this glyph interface or whatever is a killer feature in my frank opinion. Now coming to some of the things that I did not like on this smartphone. Uh, as I've told you, it should have come with a, what do you say, charger in the box uh, because the charging is technically fast on this one. This does support that, uh, what do you say, that 45 watt charging. In fact, the battery life, uh, this has that 5000 milliamp hour battery. The battery life is actually very, very good on this smartphone. Let me actually show you, I've taken some screenshots. And if I go to screenshots, let me just show you. Yeah, if you notice the other day, uh, this was again mostly with Wi-Fi. And again, guys, all the stats that I'm showing you are with a single SIM usage. Uh, it was at 11% when I got a screen on time of 9 hours, 51 minutes. This was another a few days ago here. Again, as you can see, uh, this, I think so, this was uh, like, again, I got a SOT of about 10 hours. Uh, this is mostly with Wi-Fi. But even when I was mostly on mobile data, I was easily getting a screen on time of about seven and a half hours and the standby always about one and a half to about two days between charges. So that way I would say in terms of what do you say battery life also the battery life is actually very very good on this smartphone. Now coming to the charging speed as I've told you the charging speeds are fast if you have a PD charger that supports 45 watts of charging it charges fairly quickly 50% in just about 23 minutes or something like that. So that way it's good but again they should have bundled that charger in the box, which they do not do. Uh, one small con that I have, and which is very, very surprising to me, is that, uh, as I've told you, the speakers are actually very, very good on this one. In fact, uh, you saw how loud they can go. But for some reason, when you're taking calls on the speaker phone, even when I was keeping the volume level at max, it was not going at a very high volume. It was like, it was just at 50%. I don't know if it's a software bug or something, but as of now, uh, the calls that you take via speaker phone are not that loud because I know the speakers are very loud. I don't know why it's not going that loud. I hope it's a bug and they fix it. Let me actually read the uh, actual summary. I have written it down. This is the uh, full conclusion that I had written down. Uh, let's go about it. Uh, Nothing Phone 2 for the price is an excellent smartphone. It offers a clean UI similar to the Pixel UI and is fast and fluid with 120 hertz refresh rate. The phone, phone performed well and the battery life was also good. The surprise for me was the camera performance which was much better than I expected. This should have come with a charger bundle and a case. The glyph lighting is still not a big selling point personally for me. Uh, for users looking for a clean Android experience with decent performance, the Nothing Phone 2A is an easy recommendation from me as it gets the core functionality that you want in a smartphone right. Just use a case for the back cover. So guys, this was my review of this Nothing Phone 2A. What do you guys uh, think about that? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you think this uh, review was useful, hit that like button. And guys, if you're still not subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that uh, subscribe button. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.